My name is Helen Davis and I'm an employee of the DeWitt District Library and I'm currently reading The Keepsake by Christina uh, Riggle. Um, interestingly enough, even though it's a nationally published book, it's a story that is very local. Uh, the characters in it, a uh, house is in Grand Ledge. They go eat ice cream at Lickety Split and walk the ledges in Fitzgerald Park. But what the book is about, and it is fiction, is a woman named Trish who has a son, Jack, who falls in her home and breaks his shoulder. Well, he talks about it a little bit at school and Child Protective Services come. Trish is a big time hoarder. And Jack had tumbled over things in the tiny paths in their home, and newspapers fell out. He couldn't even get up. So Trish has the ultimatum that uh, she has to either clean out her house and seek psychological counseling, or proceedings will begin to take Jack away from her. And she's devastated by this. She, her life is so wrapped up in her son. So she realizes that she needs help. There's very little that's available to her. Uh, her husband was completely alienated by the mess she created in the home. And her father left her mother over the same kind of issues. So she winds up asking her super neat, conscientious, impeccable sister Mary for help. The novel is about the struggle that they have to clean out the house, uh, personal family secrets that are revealed. Uh, it's an excellent book in that it's very authentic uh, because I have actually had um, situations similar to this where I've had to become involved in cleaning out a hoarder's home for a relative. Uh, the author even references in the back of the book a couple of nonfiction books that I have actually read that are very good. And she incorporated some of the reasoning that these researchers used to create reasons why Trish and her mother were such hoarders. It's not a book that makes you say, oh, I'm wonderful, I don't have that much junk. But it gives you an understanding of the traumas, the family dramatics that produce such a situation.